Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a really uh, simple style of design. This is the boho style or bohemian style. It is just very simple, very minimalistic. And I'm going to show you how to create this design right here. Super fast, super easy. I I mean, I literally added two elements to this design. Um, and so it just takes literally a matter of minutes and you can go ahead and scale these types of designs out pretty easily too. So this is a, a great way to just make a lot of designs very quickly with this minimalistic style. And this is popular on Etsy. And of course you can put it on different products as well, but uh, you know, I featured this on a t-shirt. So if you would like to learn about this style and about how to create this design, go ahead and stick around. So here I am on Canva's home page. And as usual, we're gonna go ahead and start with a custom size. So I'm going to go ahead to the right hand corner, click the button that says custom size, and I'm going to be selecting 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Uh, this is the design uh, size that I would use for a t-shirt. So I'm gonna start with a black background color here. Um, I do optimize my shirts for black because that is the color that sells the most, um, typically followed by either a heather gray, a dark heather gray or navy. So it's usually the darker colors that are gonna sell the most. I even saw a lot of dark purples for some reason. So the darker colors. Um, in today's design, I'm going to be doing a really minimalistic, simple, boho style design that you may have seen on Etsy. Um, it's really fast and easy to make, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. If you go over here to the left hand side and you go to the tab that says elements and you click that, we can go ahead and do a really quick search for like boho and just see what comes up. So boho, if you're not familiar, is just short for bohemian, which is just a style. And it's very simplistic, um, a lot of, you know, white or earthy tones, um, things like plants, butterflies, moon, stars, you know, it's very simple type things. So you can see all of these are just different examples of things that you may find in a boho style design and so you can use any of these and kind of combine them in different ways to create uh, those types of designs and they don't even necessarily have to have any words associated with them i am going to do one with some words um, but if you do something that doesn't have any words the, the benefit to that is that you can sell it across many marketplaces without having to worry about whether people understand it because it's just symbols or uh, just designs um, so i'm scrolling down and we're just kind of seeing what pops up and getting some inspiration and sometimes you'll find some designs and i'm trying to look for one that's already kind of combining a bunch of elements that we can just sort of go on and so as i keep looking i'm looking for something that's already kind of combining some of these elements and see if i can find it so here's one example right here so i came across this and what you'll see if i go ahead and make it white so that you can see it yeah Boom, is this is already kind of combining a lot of what you might see. So we've got sort of a moth or a butterfly. We've got the moon phases, some stars, simple leaves, simple shapes. And that by itself may be a boho style design that you would see on a shirt. And you could literally take this, add a little bit of text, add, you know, some flourishes here or there, try to make it your own, maybe crop out certain things, add your own. But something like this would be really easy and simple to create. And that's what I wanted to show you today. There is another one that I'm going to show you, but it's a similar idea of what you see there. And the cool thing is it came up with some magic recommendations. So let's go ahead and hit see all. And so you can see some of the moths that they used. Here are some other already made style designs. Those ones have some mushrooms in them. Um, and we can just see some similar styles. So here's some that you might consider boho with the hands and the moon, um, some stars. So, so you got some astrology or type stuff. And so none of those are the ones that I'm particularly looking for for this design, but it gives you a really good idea of things that you can incorporate. I'm going to just scroll down a little bit more. Just stopping here for a second, here's one that actually says boho on it. So if I change the color so that you can see it and move it out of the way, this one actually says boho on it. And it says, 
wild and freestyle or bohos bohos okay anyways just wanted to show you guys that i'll get one more really simple one that i can show you if this one lets me change the color again here you've got your moon and it sort of has nature incorporated into it so you got the mountains and the sun and it's all inside this moon so another very simple style design that you can do okay so i went ahead and jumped over to my recently used because i knew which one i wanted to use and i was having a little difficulty finding it so i went over my recently used this is the one that i wanted right here it's got more of a triangular shape to it so if i make that white you can see so I liked the way that this looked. We have sort of the moth or butterfly. I still have my moon and my stars and all of that. And this lends itself really well to a couple of little variations that I'm gonna put on it. One, I'm gonna go ahead and add some text right here down along the bottom. And just so that I can make this graphic a little bit more my own so it's not just copying the graphic entirely. I am going to add a couple simple leaves to this because you do see a lot of those just simple leaf designs or simple flowers associated with it. So I did go ahead and do a search again just for simple leaves um, or you could even do boho leaves, simple leaves, minimalistic leaf or flower and see what you come up with. Um, some of the ones I found included this one right here which I liked. And so this one was kind of cool. It was very simplistic and it has a nice curve to it. And what I found with that curve is I could go ahead, something like this, if I wanted to, and just sort of attach it on the side there. And so that looked really cool. And once I got that, I can just go ahead, hit control D, that's gonna duplicate it. And then if I go up to the top where you see flip, and I flip it horizontal. Now I've got a nice mirror image that I can just go ahead and bring over to the other side. So I've got some nice symmetry here. You'll notice a lot of these designs will be very symmetrical. So you'll get a lot of symmetry in these styles of designs. Not always, but most of the time that's a, a feature that you'll notice. And so I think I'm gonna do it one more time and make them a little bit smaller going up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead one more time. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna bring it up here. What I think we're gonna do is maybe shrink it down a little bit. And where do I wanna put this? So I'm getting these dots here that I'm not necessarily fond of, but that's okay, because I can do something like this. Let's see if I can just sort of get that dot to disappear into it. So I like the way that that looks. That's pretty simple there too. And again, I can just take the whole thing now, duplicate it, flip it horizontally, bring it over to the other side and make sure it's lined up top to bottom. And I should be able to, let's see, get that pretty close in there. So it's pretty close to where it is on the other side. So something in in that kind of range. And so that looks pretty cool. So really, I didn't do a lot. I added a couple of leaves, but now it's a different style design. And again, you could add some more to it, but with these types of designs, less is more. So you don't want it to get too busy. Um, a lot of these are you know, pretty simple, pretty simple elements. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little text to the bottom. So I'm gonna pull up a text box by hitting T on my keyboard. I'm gonna change the color of the text here to white so that I can see it. And I'm going to do something really simple. I'm going to go ahead and all caps and put different is beautiful. Now, some of the cool things that I like with some of these uh, boho designs is I put different is beautiful with this design, even though the quote doesn't necessarily have anything to do with this design. So what that essentially means is I could make many copies of this by just changing out the wording. So what I could do is just change out the wording and make many versions with this one design. So I can keep this one design and just keep changing out the words underneath it to just some, you know, simple sayings. They can be inspirational sayings, anything that isn't trademarked. And you can pretty much put almost anything you want under here. And I could make a whole bunch of shirts that have this exact same design and just keep changing out the wording. And so that is another way that you can scale this out a little bit. Um, and then you can do that for multiple boho designs. So I can make another design and use this wording under the new design. And so 
it's nice, simplistic um, way to do things. I'm going to go ahead and change this font here, though. And I did look around at some of the different fonts that I liked. I do want it to be, you know, again, a nice, simple font. And I don't want it to be too thick or too bold because you kind of want it to go with the whole look of the design. And the font that I ended up coming up with was one called Danau. Danau, am I saying that right? Right here. And so I liked this font. I thought it looked really good with this design. And so just like that. And perfect. So right there, that was a design. It only took me literally a couple of minutes to do. You can make a lot of designs this way using that exact same wording and just keep pumping out lots of designs. So this is a nice, really fast style that you don't have to make a lot of changes to to make it a little bit different. Um, you'll also see a lot of this style if you go on to like Creative Fabrica. There's tons of these already made ones that you can download off Creative Fabrica if you do a search for like boho designs. Um, and so really simple and you know, simple sells. Sometimes the best selling ones are the ones that are very, just very quick, very simple versus uh, sometimes the ones that you spend an hour on or, you know, are the ones that don't sell. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's hard to predict. Um, sometimes I was looking at my Amazon merch this morning and it says something like, you know, 1% of total products have sold and Amazon merch, you can put up one design. And, you know, if you put it across all the products in all the marketplaces, that one design equates to 60 products. So you can imagine if you've got thousands of designs, how many thousands, hundreds of thousands of products that you would have up. And so if you say, hey, 1% of those products sell, that means 99% of your products don't sell. So it is a bit of a numbers game. So you want to pump out as many high quality things as you can without spending too, too much time on them. So anyways, this is just a nice, simple style that is fast and easy. If you have any questions about this, you can drop it in the comment section below. But I wanted to give you guys some stuff you could work on that was just uh, simple and easy. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.